So what's next in store for crypto, for altcoins, and ultimately Bitcoin's adoption? I'll be breaking down and discussing all of that in today's video, going through my projections and my predictions for 2022. So stay tuned and certainly watch the very end. My name is Tom and this is Crypto Busy. If you're new to Crypto Busy and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Crypto Busy today. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. So jumping into the first thing. Now, the first thing we have for you guys is a giveaway, $250 of USDC to buy the dip. Now to enter this, be sure to follow us on Twitter and like and retweet the tweet I'm showing you right now, linked down in the description below. And the winner will be announced this Wednesday on the 26th of January at 3 p.m. UTC. So make sure that you're in it to win it for that one there. All links down in the description below. Now, this is super important. We want to make sure that we give you guys the best content available. And we did address some of the comments we've been receiving recently um, in this video that we made earlier today. And again, we'll leave that link down in the description below. But we address some of the things. You know, we're not moon boys. We don't think Bitcoin is going to go to $100,000 tomorrow. There's many different things and many other factors that affect the crypto space. And we want to give you guys the balanced view, you know, give you both sides of the story. You know, ultimately as well, we are bullish on this asset class this new asset class that we've been seeing and you know we don't want to bet against something that has a wide adoption as crypto uh, as bitcoin because 13 years ago Bitcoin was just a line of code and now it is legal tender in other countries, which is absolutely insane. And so that is something that is a threat to the United States. And so they're seeing this, they're seeing Bitcoin being adopted. They're seeing also the inflation that's going to be happening as well. That, by the way, we've been discussing on this channel for years now, and they're only going to, you know, get in control of it right now, which is a bit late in the day. So the Federal Reserve, they're going to be meeting this Wednesday on the 26th of January um, to discuss putting up the interest rates that will affect inflation. And in a way, this will be good overall for the economy if they um, you know, intervene and they make sure that they have the interest rates just rise a little bit. It will make borrowing a little bit easier as well. It will make debt cheaper in that sense and they can pay back their debts in that way. And it's the only way to take back on the quantitative easing measures that they've been doing for the past decade, which has you know, affected the US dollar, which has also made countries go to uh, um, alternatives such as Bitcoin, which is super important. So that is something outside of the crypto sphere that is affecting cryptocurrency, which is again why I'm still bullish on crypto because this is something not within the crypto space. This is something outside of the crypto space that is affecting uh, the crypto markets in the immediate short term. So it's a knee-jerk reaction in the immediate short term. The next thing as well is the amount of uncertainty that's out there in the world at the moment, rising tensions in different parts of the world with different countries. That is also affecting uh, people's opinions and people people's feelings when it comes to the stock market because ultimately the stock market is the purest form of capitalism it's buying and selling who wants to buy the stock who wants to sell the stock who wants to buy this crypto who wants to sell this crypto it's the purest form of capitalism and that is also part of the reason why I love it so much because it's so simple and, and it's only down to the feeling I have a feeling that this crypto is going to do well because of a b and c because of the team because of the white paper because of the adoption um so I'm go therefore going to buy and another person may be saying, I'm going to sell this uh, stock or I'm going to sell this crypto because of A, B and C. And it may be because of the same reasons, because of the team, because of the white paper and because of the adoption. And that is super important as well when it comes to the prices of Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Cardano and many other coins that we love discussing on, on this channel and also analyzing as well. When it comes to typing in Bitcoin at the moment, it's not looking good in the immediate short term. So if you are new to crypto, if you're new to investing, personally, what I would do, none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor what i would do is i would stay out of the market for the time being look into your cash flow what's happening what's coming in every month are you spending unnecessary amounts on you know some subscriptions here um and you know cull that before you look into uh, investing your your cash flow and that's something to look into as well if you like to take a bit of a risk for for example myself last year when the sec slapped that lawsuit onto ripple labs which affected xrp's price and xrp was being delisted on US exchanges, I bought more XRP. But I only did that for myself personally. I would not say to um, you guys at Critivisi to do that you know, immediately. But it's a great buy to do so because of the amount of risk that comes to that. It's the super, you know, you've got to have the risk versus reward. And that was just ultimately a very risky thing to do. It did pay off, but you've got to look into, uh, you know, the responsibility that we have, that we have as well on this channel to give you guys the best balanced view, especially what's been happening right now. If I said right now, you need to buy right now because this is going to go to $100,000 tomorrow, that would be irresponsible. No. So if you like a bit of risk, look into that. 
um, for a longer term perspective. What we're doing right now is we're dollar cost averaging. We're still picking up some more Bitcoin right now. That's what we're doing because we're in this for the long term. If you're in this for the short term, if you're in this for six months, if you're in this for a year, if you want to make a quick buck, that's not going to happen. And crypto is not like that. As much as you may be seeing on this chart, which is absolutely insane, guys, by the way, the chart for Bitcoin is absolutely insane. And you may be saying, oh, if I invest this much and I can see how much I can get, then I'm going to you know, become a millionaire overnight. And that doesn't happen. It, it's just not the case. You see these stories about Shiba Inu investors becoming billionaires overnight. It takes years to understand the crypto market. And we've been in this game for about five years now. If you take into account the Forex space that we've had experience of and also combine that with crypto, a combined 10 years of experience experience there with Josh and myself here at Crypto Busy. Even if you bought at the top in 2017, you're still in profit right now. And in my opinion, I think this is looking at the same way because I still think Bitcoin is going to go to $100,000. It's still possible. Is it going to go to $100,000 tomorrow? No. So that's really important there. So what's going to happen in 2022? This is super important. More regulation. That is the first thing. Crypto regulation is going to be a massive thing when it comes to uh, the adoption of crypto in 2022. So you're going to be seeing the US government uh, regulate crypto in a harsher sense. But you're going to see other governments across the world who don't necessarily align with everything the US do, such as El Salvador and other countries as well. They're going to be adopting Bitcoin on a positive sense. So you're going to be seeing this weird fundamental change in Bitcoin's adoption and regulation where some countries will be adopting Bitcoin as legal tender and putting it into their cash reserves and adopting it very strongly. Other countries across the world will be adopting it or regulating it in a different sense and saying, well, you know, we're going to be killing off the innovation there. Personally, what I want to be seeing, I want to be seeing some regulation to give everybody the clarity of what's going to be happening when you invest in Bitcoin, when you invest in crypto, but don't kill the innovation. You, need to, you, don't, you don't need to have regulation for the sake of regulation, but that is what we're going to be seeing in 2022. The next thing I think we're going to be seeing as well is a crypto ETF approval in the United States. I think it's going to be possible for this year. I think after the regulation that we're going to be seeing for Bitcoin and also with the Federal Reserve uh, stepping in and intervening with the interest rates, I think it's also going to be super important. So some form of ETF will certainly happen. And so with that, more capital will be flowing into the markets. Right now, if you're a retail investor and you bought at $69,000, you're going to be thinking, uh, I want to sell right now. But then institutions are licking their lips and they want to get into the crypto market right now. They see Bitcoin right now as a steal and they're going to get into the markets and they're going to make sure that everybody you know panic sells at the end of the day you know dip bitcoin potentially below thirty thousand dollars and swoop in and buy a massive massive amount of bitcoin and we could be seeing that cycle return as well lengthening cycles that's another important thing when it comes to um you know the bitcoin uh, bull cycle that we're in right now and also what's happening with um you know this this bull cycle that we're in right now and then also the, the bearish momentum within the bull cycle a lengthening cycle is also possible where we could be seeing Bitcoin extend its run into next year as well. So there's many different factors to stay bullish at the moment. And the, right now, when it comes to the fundamentals, the fundamentals are very bullish. The technicals are very bearish. There's many things that's happening here in this year. And I'm excited to what's happening as much as it may be, uh, you know, a massive dip at the moment. We're seeing some coins down 50% on the weekly. I saw one that was also down 70% on the weekly. We're very much used to this. So Josh and I are very much used to seeing these sort of dips and corrections along the way in the cryptocurrency markets. We have that long-term perspective. And I urge each and every one of you who are in the crypto markets right now, have a long-term perspective. It's not going to happen in six months. It's not going to happen in a year's time. That goal that you may have, you know, you want to get to a certain monetary amount, you know, a dollar figure amount that you want your portfolio to get to, double it maybe even triple it because again, this is a massive, massive thing that's happening right now. It's very young. Crypto is so young. It's 13 years old compared to the stock market, which is a hundred years old or hundreds of years old compared to precious metals. They're thousands of years old. So we're very young and comparing it to, by the way, the, the precious metals, gold has a market cap of around 11 trillion, nearly $12 trillion. That's just gold in the precious metals uh, sector. Whereas with crypto right now, $2 trillion, a bit less than that, actually. And that's the whole crypto market. So the whole crypto market is a sixth of what gold is. So we're so young. We're so young in this game and so early in the crypto space for its adoption. So I, I, please have this long-term perspective. Hopefully it made sense of today's video. Make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Crypto Busy today. And my name's been Tom. This is Crypto Busy. Do comment down below whether you agree, whether you disagree with me, and whether you want me to clarify anything in the comments below. Very much appreciated. We, we allow free speech on this platform, of course. So that's it for me in today's video, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.